we can actually answer questions about the universe that we see when we look into the night sky. But there are still mysteries that remain to be solved. Sphrex and Punch are two completely different missions that are sharing a ride together to space. Spherex is a telescope that takes images of our skies in infrared. We're going to take thousands of pictures forming a map of our universe. We're trying to look back in time to see what happened in the first second after the Big Bang. Punch is a constellation of four small satellites. It's focused on the sun's outer atmosphere, the solar corona, and how that solar atmosphere fills our solar system and bombards Earth's magnetic field. It's going to be the most complete all-sky survey that we've ever done. Being able to see basically back in time, it's cool, it's like time travel. We can expect some surprises in this process. Together, Spherix and Punch highlight NASA's mission to not only explore the cosmos, but to unravel the deeper connections that bind us all. Three, two, one, and liftoff. In just 53 minutes, we'll watch as this Falcon 9 rocket lifts off from Vandenberg Space Force Base. With this one launch, two missions, SphereX, a space telescope to map our cosmos, and PUNCH, four small satellites to track how the sun's corona shapes solar wind. Hello and welcome to Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. I'm NASA's Raquel Villanueva, bringing you live coverage from the heart of the spacecraft and launch vehicle base operations here on base. Just a few feet away, teams are hard at work preparing for today's launch. NASA's Launch Services Program, also known as LSP, is managing today's launch, and we are targeting 8, 10, 12 p.m. Pacific time. We are also currently monitoring thick clouds in the area that could impact today's launch. We will get more updates as we continue the, the countdown to liftoff. Hold, and hold, joining hold. me now today is Farah Alibe, Spherex Flight Systems Engineer. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy to be here. We've been tracking these, uh, these clouds all well day today, as, uh, so we'll see what happens this evening, Europe but it's just well. an honor to be here with um, you today. We are standing down for the day and uh, uh, and, you know, an Goddard Flight Center's overseas punch. And, you know, we are actually getting an update yeah. from um, the weather crew. So let's actually head over to our team at Hawthorne who will give us more on that update. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jesse Anderson. I'm a senior production manager here at SpaceX, and I'm joined by Megan Cruz and Mick Waltman from NASA. Yeah, and uh, we're here together so that we could be listening to the loops, to listen along with the countdown and give you as many updates as we can. And right now, we did just get an update uh, from the launch director as well as our NASA counterparts that we are standing down for today's launch. Mick, we were um, watching the weather, but also um, there is an issue with the spacecraft. Yeah, the team was looking at the thick cloud rule for today's weather, to, or for tonight's weather for launch attempt. Uh, however, spacecraft had an issue with one of their uh, systems, and they cannot support tonight's launch attempt. So uh, Dr. Denton Gibson, our NASA launch manager, and Nate uh, Jansen, the SpaceX launch director, discussed it and uh, call, a, call a scrub for this evening. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a tough road ahead from the beginning for today because the weather did not look great. Um, actually, throughout the launch countdown, again, the three of us were listening to uh, conversations and periodic weather briefings uh, because they needed to keep a very close eye on weather tonight. Yeah, exactly. And we definitely will not go if weather is not good and if the vehicle and spacecraft are not healthy. We'd rather um, prepare for a day and time that will work for both the vehicle, the payloads and the weather, of course. And Mick, do we know when, when we may be, uh, we'll try to launch this again? I think the team's discussing that right now, um, looking at possibly a 24-hour uh, recycle. Uh, the launch managers will discuss that, and, and we'll get something out on the blogs and social media, I'm sure. Um, but as uh, Jesse was pointing out, the thick cloud rule tonight, a very important rule for us so that we don't have rocket-triggered lightning once we launch. And the weather that just moved in over Vandenberg in the last couple hours uh, was in violation of that. So the range uh, that we launched from here uh, was red, 
and uh, the team was looking for that last weather briefing before we got into propellant loading. And uh, unfortunately, we had the spacecraft issue come up also. So I think the right call was made, and so everybody can go assess uh, what we can do for possibly tomorrow. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the thick cloud rule, just because if we do attempt launch tomorrow, we know that it's also going to be a watch item because we do have a system coming in um, that we have to watch, right? Our weather officers know that there's a, a unique combination of temperature, but also electricity that would make it so that rocket triggered rocket triggered lightning Light. is more um, plausible. So, can you talk a little bit more about the rule? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, as you said, it has something to do a little bit to do with the temperature, but also the thickness of the clouds that are there. That as the rocket, uh, what basically what we're looking for is to assess the rocket's trajectory path uh, that it takes through that thick cloud. So, anything over 45. 500 feet thick um, tends to be our, our limit uh, so that we don't trigger that lightning, which could damage the rocket uh, itself and go on. So we were watching temperatures tonight. We're watching that thick cloud. Tomorrow, uh, things do look a little bit better, what we heard in the earlier weather brief, but we'll hear from Lieutenant Park tomorrow as we get ready, hopefully, for a launch tomorrow afternoon. But uh, I will say, Jesse, uh, all the systems getting ready for polling, the rocket looked good. Um, yeah. We just can't control the weather. Exactly. We always say this all the time. The one thing we can't control is the weather. Um, but vehicle was looking good again for tonight. Um, so we should be ready for whatever next opportunity we have. Yes. So thank you guys for um, checking in with us here so that we can give you the latest updates. Uh, for now, though, we're going to send it back to Vandenberg with the host desk uh, with Raquel and Farah are standing down for tonight and will have a launch date sometime soon. So for the latest information on the next attempt, please visit blogs.nasa.gov slash spherex and blogs.nasa.gov slash punch. As always, we thank you for watching and please stay tuned and we will hope to see everyone back here for our next launch attempt. Yeah.